on the lazy geckos. We finished the children's summer during which they had focused on becoming true sailors. We showed you our dinghy qualification process, which was so much fun. Then it was time for the kids to complete their final exam in order to be promoted from swab to mate. As new sailors, they had to complete challenges such as fire drills, learning how to tie important knots, and so much more. Our kids learn best from example. As parents, we do our best to set that from the very beginning. They passed with flying colors, being promoted to mate on the bow of the lazy gecko. In doing so, they each received their very own Rasta hat before we had to head south to Miami in order to say goodbye to them. beach it's awesome nothing like I've ever really seen you know like the nudity and that type of thing it's kind of cool you know people are more free it's definitely more trendy the water's crystal clear it kind of reminds you of the Bahamas gives us a little taste of what we're about to encounter so it's been great When we arrived at the Miami airport, we were surprised to find out that the kids' flights were completely switched around, which meant they'd be with us for two more days. We turned those two days into a little family vacation on Miami's South Beach while we waited for their next flight. The time spent in America's sexiest city only made us more eager to get our boat there so we could stick our toes in the sugar-like white sand. We had so much fun showing the kids the two mile long stretch of beautiful beaches, sun-soaked shores, sparkling turquoise water, and of course, we took them out for a night on the town. to their new home and in doing so we knew something was wrong with the truck we weren't sure we had it towed to the Ford dealership um, with our AAA package and then we found out we had to get the transmission replaced so now we're on our way to pick up the truck and pay for it that was an expense that we were not ready for but you know when you have a traveling lifestyle I've noticed that those type of things just kind of pop up and it's like kind of like a lesson for all you guys that want to do the cruising this is another tie that we have to land but we're choosing to keep Chucky as we call him um, in the family so this is something that we have to deal with because we've decided to keep a vehicle um, you know the maintenance the inquired costs and that type of thing but he will be all fixed if we ever need to take a long trip anywhere and that's a huge plus so we've rented a car for the day we're going to get Chucky and bring him to his new home. This was unexpected, but it's fun. We're having a good time, right, honey? Yeah. Reese is driving me crazy. He's back there. Reese, say hi. Nothing. Well, we are checking the batteries today. The water level, I think, while well, I was supposed to remind Jeremiah, forgot. But I just remembered. So we are gonna be checking them right now he is going to switch the laundry over with the little man and I'm waiting for him I got clothes hanging all over 
some of my clothes I do not dry. People think I'm crazy. But I feel like it keeps them nicer. You can see them. Oh, 360. Here we go. There's some Reese's. Yes. We don't dry all our clothes because I feel like the dryer ruins them. But I could be wrong. My mom used to hate me for it. Yes, mom. I still do it. Now you don't have to deal with it because I deal with it. Uh, waiting for the boys to get back and then we're going to check some batteries. And I am going to let you guys see exactly how we do that. It's with distilled water and I've done it, but I can't exactly remember how. So um, that's what I need the boys for. Right now we are checking our batteries for, what exactly are we checking them for? Just to, I like to look, just make sure, make sure they're still there. What do we do, this like once a month? <laughs> yeah, me. what do you think, somebody came on and robbed they're, our boat? They're there. <laughs> no, I look down in there. I make sure there's lots of Cheerios, there are. It's nasty in there. I need to vacuum this out. I just did it the other day. I don't think so. I don't think so. Really? Well, our son shoves the cereal down there. No, I'm just checking the... Um, every 30 days I check our battery level. And it has not gone down. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm going to check it again. These are our two house batteries. Let me get my safety goggles on. Don't get too close. Crap can get real. Probably have gloves on, but whatever. Oh. They look, look full? Bad, yeah. What is that, distilled water, right? It is distilled water, but there's all kinds of crap in it. Once you put it in there. When you refill it, it's distilled water, but when it's in there, it's electrolyte. Yeah. So what I like to do is take the electrolyte and gargle with it in the morning. Clean your teeth real good. Okay. of our deep cleaning, spring cleaning scrub down, our AC has been giving us quite the runaround. Yeah. It's not the AC, it's the pump. Well, I mean, we troubleshooted and thought it's been a lot of things. Well, no, it, it was. It's just we're, we're chasing a problem that other problems are causing. So what was our problem? The strainer. Uh, the strainer crapped itself and then allowed a bunch of debris to go through the system. We're in a marina, it just so happened it's pretty dirty here. And uh, so now the pump's been acting funny. And then we believe it just crapped itself. So uh, fortunately, we bought another pump. Well, uh, I think we were pretty smart when it came to that. We bought extra parts just in case something happened. Go touch, please. Yeah, you can use these types of little connectors here. And then you heat shrink them. Hey, don't mess with it. Daddy and the boy are working. I'm just gonna sit over here with the fan. Our spinnaker halyard, which we use primarily for raising and lowering our dinghy, Taco, became jammed two months ago. One day, while out on a mooring ball, we decided to hang our kids off the side of the boat from our hammock chair. It was awesome, but it caused the jam. Jeremiah's already spent six long hours up the mast trying to break the halyard free, so we had to bring in a pro, a professional rigger that is. After an hour and a half of his banging on the mast, the halyard is now free and Taco is back to easily being hoisted up on deck where she belongs. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Boys. Um, can you tell me your thoughts on the rigging? My thoughts are I'm glad it's done. Yeah. We got it unstuck. And uh, I mean the halyard's okay. We only use that halyard for raising taco anyway. We're not flying a spinnaker at the moment. If we're gonna fly a spinnaker, we're gonna have to install little guides to help it not go in there, but uh, it's just over time worn out a little bit. 
Uh, but it runs fine, it'll be fine for raising taco. So, so what do you think we're going to do? Are we going to leave it? Are we going to repair it somehow? No, we're going to. Right now we're just going to leave it. It runs fine. <laughs> Use it for taco like we do. Run our Genoa and the main, they're fine. And we have a, an extra line to be able to grow up the mass if we need to. All right, YouTubers, we have huge news coming up. We've already announced it to our patrons and our Vimeo viewers, but now it's your turn uh, in October, the end of October. Jeremiah and I and the baby, we're all going to Fantasy Fest. Uh, we have childcare for the baby, of course, uh, daycare, whatever you wanna call it. And we will be there four days during the two week period. Hit us up, we're gonna do like a meetup, nothing formal or anything like that, completely informal actually. So hit us up, we'd like to meet up with you. We're deciding on the day right now. I'll give you all the info if you email me here. There you go. Uh, email me, let me know. We're also doing like um, submit costumes. We need ideas, that type of thing. So yeah, let's get together, let's have fun, and let's rock it out gecko style. Next time on The Lazy Geckos. We have a professional rigging surveyor do a complete inspection on the Lazy Gecko's rig. This guy knows his stuff and you're going to love as he takes you step by step on exactly how to inspect your rigging. He'll show you exactly what to look for, the good and the bad. This inspection was a huge deal to us as we wanted to be able to check it off our list before making our big ocean passage. Also, don't miss as he takes me up the mast to view all those sun damage areas that are out of sight. If you enjoy our videos, then please don't hesitate to help support our journey on Patreon. Thank you for all your PayPal donations. You are such an inspiration to us. Make sure you check out season two on Vimeo. This season will be even better than the first.